I opened this damn freaking door. I opened this damn freaking door. I almost felt. The, the girls were screaming like, surprise! <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Gur Linda back with another video and it's been not a while. <laughs> I know I like to use that word, but no, it's not. Um, as you guys can see from the title and by seeing what I'm doing right now, I'm going to finally remove my braids. And um, I wanted to do a Q&A, but I have not, I am not getting questions. And it always happens. I want to be creative. I want to be now. I want to, you know, do like a Q&A, ask me a question and things like that. But for some reason or another, it's not working. Like nobody wants to ask questions. Nobody is saying anything. It's like me with myself. So I'm not going to even stress about it. So I'm going to change the concept, the content. I'm going to talk about my birthday. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Um, if you are on my Instagram, y'all know um, how I felt on my birthday. Well, when my birthday was, you know, close by. So basically, I I always, normally, I'm always excited when September is around the corner, you know. September is around the corner. It's my birthday season, my birthday month. You know how we get the Virgos girls, the Virgo peoples. That's the month that there is... So many birthday people like for real for real like it's I think it's one if I google it right now I think September is the month of that has more birthdays you know what is the most common birthday month with September dominate the, the most common birthdays August is actually the most common birthday month for those one that new normally I always do something you know on my birthday i never work on my birthday i always go on vacation on my birthday you know i um what else so yeah this time nothing you know i was not excited you know before i used to have i was single i used to you know go all by myself plan my own birthday you know do things by myself travel by myself you know those kind of things last year i did uh, me and my boyfriend was recent so i didn't plan my boy my birthday with him of course he was invited but i didn't plan it with him he could have just joined of course but went on vacation so i say there's nothing exciting i can do because my man is going to work since he has two jobs he works in the day and he works in the evening so i say you know what i didn't even request for a vacation days i didn't request for off days and stuff like that so i definitely didn't have nothing plan to you guys and i was trying my best to accept the fact that i don't have to do something all the time you know every single birthday that i have to do something it's not necessary i was putting my mind like that you know i was trying to accept the fact that i don't have to do something for my birthday every single year you know it's okay to you know doesn't have to do anything this year you know it's okay not just to you know take it as a regular day so i was putting myself in that situation in that um point of view meanwhile deep inside i was not feeling that way i was feeling like oh, my birthday is around the corner I have nothing to do. I want to spend it with my man, but he's gonna be he's gonna go to work. But I don't wanna ask him, you know. I don't wanna be like they take that day, you know, off for my birthday, you know, let's do something. I don't wanna be the one asking. I want to feel like um he can do it on himself, you know, to so, say, you know what, baby, it's your birthday, it's the first time. Not the first time, but the second time I'm going to spend your birthday with you. So, you know, me with my expectation. <laughs> 
so I reached to the point where normally I always put on my Instagram and my stuff like yeah it's the birthday month you know we're going to you know I'm excited I'm this but this time I wasn't I didn't put anything so on the two more days before my birthday that's when I start feeling more emotion yo I felt more emotional that's where I have put on my status like you know birthday is around the corner and for the first time of the history I have nothing I have put it like that in my Instagram like that then I was trying to brush it off you know but like yeah like try to accept the fact you know but deep inside I was not accepting the fact <laughs> So I say, you know what, I'm going to... Just gonna let it be. So, one day before my birthday, one day? No, yeah, that two days before my birthday, my man started to feeling the energy. He starts to feeling like I'm not myself, you know. I am quiet. Um, my answers are short. You know, I was not having any attitude, but I wasn't feeling it. You know, I was feeling like, ugh. And then um, I think he said something. I don't even remember what he said. And then I say no. Wednesday, because my birthday was on Wednesday. It's gonna be a regular day. It's a regular day. So he was like, "Why you have to talk like that? It's not a regular day. It's a. It's your birthday. It's, don't take it as a regular day." I say, "Yeah, it's a regular day." And then I remember my boss sent me a message because I. Ooh, my boss told me, "Berlin, I want you to take your. I want to. I want you to take Wednesday off." I was like, "Really? Thank you." But deep inside, I was like, "I didn't want it," <laughs> and I don't want to let him feel bad because he thought he remembers that Wednesday is gonna be my birthday, and I didn't do any requests as usual. Normally, I do ask, you know, for the days. Um, for the day of my birthday, e either my uh, one off day or either vacation, and I always do something. And he remembers that the set 20 is my birthday, so he said, Take the day, you know, Wednesday. I want you to take the day Wednesday. Oh, and I felt so special because you don't you don't get that from your boss normally only i can say i'm blessed because i have a boss that thinks you know on my birthday and think that i need it so when i had to work he was like are you gonna take wednesday i was like chef i don't think so because i don't have nothing planned he was like at least go to a spa nobody worries on their off their, their birthday <laughs> go to spa do something let's see i'll see i'll think about it you know i don't want to go in detail in there because who cares you know so he was like take it and i was still thinking about it y'all i say you know what i will i won't say i won't tell him if i'm gonna take it or not but i will just come to work so then um tuesday yes tuesday my man was like are you gonna take the day that your boss give you I don't think so. I say I'm going to work like a regular day. <laughs> I'm gonna work on like a regular day. He was like, okay. Then in the evening, he was like, oh, uh, my colleague was like, take the day. Just take the day and don't come to work. Take the day. I say, okay, I'm gonna take the day. I'll see what I'm going to put. Do. In the evening, I start trying to, you know, I think that was the next day. Yeah, no, in the evening, I start thinking. Think I started talking to myself. I was like, girl, no, somebody, oh yeah, a colleague, a colleague of mine, Kimberly, shout out to you. She said, do the best out of it, you know, just do the best out of it. Just be creative, do something, you know, do something, think about something, you know, get the best out of it. So I started thinking, I was like, um, yeah, I'll do something. Even my man is not gonna be there. I'll see if I'll go to breakfast, you know, do something. Uh, I was editing, I was doing other stuff, and then I fell asleep. My man was at work and I was home sleeping. 12 o'clock, good girl is sleeping. You know, normally 12 o'clock I'll be 
I'm up posting, you know, posting on my social media. Happy birthday, girl. It's my birthday and things like that. 12 o'clock, girl, I was sleeping, okay? I was in bed, I was sleeping, I was turning around. This guy scared the heck out of me. <laughs> he was there with a, like a candle, you know, and and a cupcake, you know, singing happy birthday and this and that. I was like, bro, you scared the heck out of me because I was in a deep sleep. But it was nice. The first thing I was looking at was, where's the camera? Where's the camera? <laughs> I was like, no camera. But I appreciate the fact that. So then, oh my God. Am I hungry? Why am I talking like that? Wait, I'm not feeling. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. Bagel with peanut butter, bagel with egg. Mm. Need to put protein at least. So, where was I? Uh, in the morning, we woke up, we went to the gym, 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning. As per usual, while having our nice workout, he was like, what are we going to do afterwards? I say, you ain't going to work? Girl, I just knew it. <laughs> For some reason, I always know and I feel when, that's why it's not easy for to get surprises, because I always assume, I always know, like I have a feelings in me, I have something in me that <sighs> you cannot hide me something, or you cannot, so I knew that he is going to take the day. I just asked him, I was like, are you not going to work? Why are you asking me what we're gonna do after work? You know, you play along with the game. I was playing along with the game. So he was like, no, I'm not going to work. I took the day. I was like, okay, nice, thank you. I appreciate it. It's so dry, girl, I was so dry. So freaking dry. <laughs> So it took me a while to lose up a little bit, you know, to be excited, you know, to enjoy my birthday and stuff like that. So we had to, we went to breakfast. He was like, he was trying to, he was trying to make me get excited back, you know, you know, try to change my mood. I was doing the things them that I like. He was like, are we going to film something for your birthday that you were saying? Uh Bring up. Huh? Bring See you over Huh? It's a low. 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 Uh, 
Are you going to bring a tripod to breakfast and stuff like that? You know, are you gonna vlog? Maybe let's vlog and things like that. I say no, I don't think I, I don't think like I don't I wasn't thinking on vlogging. I didn't want I really was not into vlogging that day. You know, maybe deep inside yes, but I didn't feel like I was the mood to bring a you know to vlog. Like the energy that you are putting behind the camera does also affect, you know, you can see it. So I say no, I'm not going to vlog. I didn't feel like excited to vlog. So I did not vlog but we went for breakfast we had a nice breakfast we went to eat at Hyatt um, it was nice afterward we came home we did grocery and stuff like that so either then vlog that my man was like are you not gonna vlog I was like nah so slowly I did film with my phone you know Cause I do not, I barely, I do not walk with my camera anymore. So I did film a little clip with my phone, which I'm gonna put it on the screen. I did film a little clip, you know, we um, at the breakfast place at Hyatt. Right. Well, we was having breakfast, then um, we just relaxed, relaxed, and then in the evening we went for dinner. So again, we went through our list to see which one or the rest, which restaurant we're gonna visit this time. We we had three on list. We had um, Manchego then we had in mind um the rooftop and also in mind a radisson blue so i already visit manchevo uh, he loved manchevo we went for breakfast and lunch but we didn't do dinner as yet in manchevo but i did and i didn't want to do it on my birthday i said you know let me take a break from manchevo because people of manchevo will be seeing me too much which I am Manchibo was one of the places that I used to work. But he's it's so nice, so cozy, it's so relaxing Manchu. Manchibo is a very nice place to have a nice breakfast, a nice lunch, a nice dinner. And the thing is the options that they have on the menu are the kind of um, food that we eat, you know, healthy, you know, options, vegan and gluten free. to um radisson blue because i have never went to eat there as yet and rooftop is one of the places that we ate already once before so i say no let's go to radisson blue so we went there we ate there it was so nice so cozy it was relaxing it was it was five star for me so um no i'll say four star <laughs> it was four star for me 
So, um, after that, I was suspicious. No, while we was driving, while we was driving to to the restaurant, I was on my phone. I was I was on my phone, you know, doing my stuff. And he was he was like, nobody can plan your surprise. I was like, bro, what happened? Are you on my phone? I said, no, I'm not on your phone. I was like, oh shit, I wrote it. <laughs> then I didn't say anything because he was like, bro, nobody can do your surprises. I was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I was not thinking on surprises. That was the only moment that he got me. That was the only moment that he got me because I was not thinking on surprises. Clearly. Even the key that he left behind because the key was left behind because we had the landlord that had to come over and you know fix something. So I was like he have one, I have one, and then we left the key, and then I wasn't even thinking on surprises. Then he was like, oh shoot, I wrote it. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> from then, I was, you know when you're suspicious and when you know something? From then, I was literally seeing every single move, watching every single move, like, he was on the phone i was like yeah they're planning they're arranging he was we was eating and stuff like that and then out of nowhere i did ask him something and i asked him do you need hotspot do you need wi-fi and things like that he was like yeah but i gave him the wi-fi because i know he doesn't have internet on his phone so he could you know communicate with a person that they're gonna plan the surprise <laughs> so i did it because of that <laughs> I'm bad. I'm wicked bad. So he was clearly I was talking to him and he was on the phone like, you know? And I was like talking and he's not he was not paying attention, but he was pretending like he was paying attention, you know? Like you know when you're on your phone, you're chatting and the someone is talking to you like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. But you're not really paying attention? Well that was it. <laughs> So I was like, okay, they are planning fine. Then he was like, let's have a walk. I know there's a surprise coming, but I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know. I really don't know what's gonna happen. I have nothing in mind, but I assume it's with the girls, my girls. So then he was like, let's have a walk around the um, high rise. Where is he thinking I'm bringing me? Where is this surprise going to be? So we went there, that I was suspicious. I was like, okay. Maybe he's bringing me somewhere that the ladies is there and stuff like that. Then I didn't see nobody. I was like, okay. Then we went back in the car and then on the way home. No, we went back in the car and then I was. he was like, okay, let's go home. Oh, okay, the surprise is over. <laughs> I said, okay, there was no surprise. I think I was the one assuming. I was the one thinking, you know. Then... If really if there's any car around I didn't see no car no car they really hide it real good so I was like okay clearly there is nothing clearly like, okay clearly there's nothing so I opened this that freaking door yeah clearly I was hungry that's why I was talking like that at the beginning I opened this damn freaking door I almost felt the, the girls were screaming like surprise <laughs> like wait a minute this is the whole thing that was you know planning that was it i was i was in shock because i assumed there is a surprise because he gave a little hint and then we drove somewhere there were nobody there we drove home i didn't see no car that could say you know what there's something going on around here then when i opened the door 
I heard a surprise. I was so in shock. I was so in shock. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I definitely I couldn't believe it. I, that was. It's like I knew there was something going on, but my math was not messing. And at the end, there was something going on. You know. <laughs> so it was so so excited. It was nice. I mean, <laughs> makes me feel like there is. People out there still that cares for you, you know, that thinks about you, and it was so nice, y'all. It was nice. So I'm so grateful for every single person that I have around me in my life. <laughs> Playing them how I felt about the um, how I was suspicious about the, the the surprise. So what had happened was is that they made a group chat and they have put me in the group chat. So I was like, I didn't notice I was in the group chat. So then they removed me from the group chat. I'm like, wait. I, I was next to one of them that was in that was in the surprise um, organization. Why they remove me from the group chat? Why Carla remove me from the group chat? She was like, I don't know. But for me, I thought it was a group chat that we had before because we always have surprises and group chats. I thought it was one of a group chat that we had before, and the group chat is no longer in in function. So he just you know remove it and delete people. So I also. They didn't think about any delete the group chat. Then they are told, telling me that that group chat was the group chat that they made, but they forget they put me in the group chat. I didn't, didn't assume about anything for real, for real. That is how I spent my birthday, y'all. <laughs> it was, it was, it was nice. It was productive. I mean, of that day, that day we did grocery every day, you know, grocery shopping and. You know, chatting, relaxing, even sleeping. It was good. It was nice. Um, I am grateful for you know in my life. Yep. They have created a love in my heart for them because they shows like, girl, we we like you, we love you. Okay. Well, nobody will do something like that if they don't care for you. Okay. The one that doesn't create time for you. They don't care. All right, all right. So it shows me that they do care, and I appreciate it. I love that. I love you, girls, and my man. That's being so supportive and so genius, and you know, trying to do his best to keep me happy. Cause you know, women is not that easy. They are complicated, and they are. As we have to accept the fact that we ain't easy sometimes to do it, you know, and we ask for too much. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to remove this braid and I will see you guys in a few more minutes, hour, I don't know. I just tried. it. <sighs> see you in a bit. Hey y'all. It's the following day and here we go. We are, we are still busy. With the braids you know and um yeah um my life is busy you guys back then i could have you know get rid of my braids in one day but now i cannot so all i did this morning was was go to the gym around seven o'clock i was already on the road um running errands then come home, organize a little bit, you know, I have to do everything now section by section because back then I could have just say, you know what, today I'm going to clean. So I'll be cleaning the entire house, like the kitchen, the restroom, the bedroom and all those things. But now it's little by little because my time is not my time. I have too much things to do and it, it can be very overwhelming when I'm trying and forcing myself to do so many at the same time. So now I'm trying to take do things one step at a time. So basically, I came home, I organized a little bit, I washed my dishes, I cleaned certain stuff, I, you know, some 
I had some fruits that I had to pack and I had to also make um, ginger shot and stuff like that so now I am also cooking and girl if I sit down and try to remove them braids before I get those things done I'm never gonna get them done that's exactly what had happened yesterday I started removing my braids and then realized that I'm not gonna make it for work. I didn't even do anything of, you know, my house duties. So now I did the opposite. I did all the things that needs to be done and now I'm sitting and, you know, removing my braid and watching some vlogs that I have a while I haven't been watching. And guess what? I'm thinking on watching the vlog while removing the braid or reading my book while removing the braid. And, you know, you will always go for the most enjoying part is you know just stay to watch vlogs you know just relax so get a link and it is commissionable so if you're in the business to support me making a little coin use the link don't go around it I'll turn baby We're still going strong y'all i think we are almost done as soon as you see this ponytail is like hanging over y'all can say okay girl you're almost done all right and am i the only one that feels like calm don't do the job but instead a pen you know to get into those braids <laughs> i mean the twist is easy just unravel and you know pull your finger through it and then pull like that and when it comes to the braid that's right like in the in the roots you just use see and then you just use a pen wait twist back and then you just use a bro pen you know like I feel like the pen does a better job than a comb so let's continue see you guys later okay my body full of dandruff look at this you can see this full of dandruff the floor full of hair and dandruff it's crazy you know in the beauty space or makeup space <laughs> and um yeah i'm just getting ready for that Um, I I don't I'm 